Annick Smits, human rights activist in Belgium. The life of prisoner of conscience Mohammed Sadiq Kaboudvant is in the hands of the Iranian authorities at the moment. The Kurdish journalist and head of the Kurdistan Human Rights Organization in 2007 was sentenced completely unjustly on fabricated charges to an imprisonment of 10 years. Now that he is approaching the end of his sentence, the Iranian authorities went to condemn him to a further and longer imprisonment, again on the basis of a false accusation, namely spreading of propaganda against the system from inside the prison. In protest against this, the 57-year-old Sadiq Gaboudvant, since May the 8th, went on a hunger strike. Till now he spent nearly a decade in prison and only for carrying out his legitimate rights as a journalist in defending women's rights, children's rights and the rights of the Kurdish minority in Iran. The fact that the authorities are now starting a new case against him, so close to his release date, suggests that they will make every effort to keep the firm defender of human rights behind bars. This is actually a tactic frequently used by the Iranian authorities against Kurdish prisoners of conscience. I'm thinking of Osman Mustafa Por, Mohammed Nazeri, Ibrahim Hussein Por, and Veli Drudi. The latter, after serving his sentence of three years, was even sentenced to life imprisonment without charge, without trial. After 30 days of uh, hunger strike, the physical condition of Mr. Kaboudvant severely deteriorated and according to eyewitnesses, it became critical. Mohamed Sadiq Gaboudvant should not be in prison in the first place, as he is being held solely for the peaceful exercise of his right to freedom of expression and for his work as a journalist and human rights activist.